Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Tonight we're going to make an interesting dish called Tarako, Japanese spaghetti. And I know a lot of you are scratching your heads going, what's Japanese spaghetti? Well, Tarako, Japanese spaghetti, is actually a Japanese spaghetti served in a butter cream sauce with fish eggs. And I know a lot of you are going, fish eggs? Ooh, what's that? Well, I came about learning about it from a friend of mine here on YouTube. His name is Jay and he runs a channel here on YouTube called The Aimless Cook. And in my last video, I made a sushi recipe called California Roll Uramaki, which was the rice on the outside with fish eggs covering the rice. And uh, Jay left a couple of nice comments about that recipe, and then he sent me a private message telling me about different kinds of fish eggs. And he taught me something I didn't know. He taught me the difference between tarako fish eggs, menteko fish eggs, uh, masago fish eggs, and tobiko fish eggs, things that I didn't know. And then he sent me a link to a video that he did called Tarako Japanese Spaghetti. And I saw it and I was like, wow, this is really good. Because as far as I'm concerned, my first and foremost choice in culinary gastronomy has always been Asian food. So when I saw that, I was like, soul food, man. So I'm giving a shout out to my friend Jay over at The Aimless Cook because tonight I'm gonna make Tarako Japanese Spaghetti and I'm gonna cover it with something called furikake, which is nori or seaweed that's been cut into a chiffonade with sesame seeds, sugar, salt, pepper, some fish flakes if you have it. You could buy it in the store, but I made my own. But just to give you a little background about what tarako Japanese spaghetti is, it's the Japanese version of a Sardinian dish called botarga. Sardinia being an island off the coast of Italy where they take the fish eggs of a fish called the mullet. Now they will take the sacks and the eggs or just the eggs, and they will cure them and salt them and grind them up and sprinkle them over pasta dishes. And so the Japanese adopted it. So it's somewhat of a fusion food. It's somewhat the West meeting the East or the East meeting the West, but it's a delicious dish either way. So like I said, I asked Jay, could I make it on my channel? He said, yeah, go ahead. So tonight I'm gonna make for you Tarako Japanese spaghetti. It's a buttercream sauce. It's gonna be delicious. And as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, so let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt some butter. And we're going to let this butter melt. And then when the butter melts, we're going to add the fish eggs. Now the pasta is already cooked. I didn't think I wanted to waste time showing how to cook pasta or cooking the pasta on this video. It's right here. It's already done. It's still very warm. It's got a little coat of oil on it to prevent it from sticking. Because basically the recipe here is the sauce. So, I'm taking a little bit of butter and I'm melting it. It's unsalted butter. And I'm just going to let that melt. Okay, just going to let that melt. There we go. Get it to bubble, but we don't want it to brown, so we'll reduce the heat. And to the butter, we're going to add Tarako Pollock fish eggs. I've cut them out of the sack already. Okay, I've cut them out of the sack. This is basically, this is caviar. And into the butter, it's going to go. Here we go. Every last one, as many as I can get. All right. There we go. And we'll scatter them. Get them inundated with the butter. And we're looking to turn them pink. There we go. They will light up very quickly, get very nutty. There we go. This is a very fast sauce. Now since I was using unsalted butter, I'm going to add some salt. All right. And I think just for kicks, me personally, I'm going to add just a little bit of black pepper. Actually it's 
pepper combo is what it is. Just a little bit. There you go. Oh, it smells good already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now to this. Let these cook a little bit. Here we go. To this, we're going to add heavy cream. Butter and cream. This is a very rich recipe. But you're not eating it every day. So it's okay. What we want to do with this is we want it to reduce. want this cream to reduce. If you make the sauce too thin, it won't stick to the pasta. So you have to reduce it and thicken it to allow it to stick to the pasta. So that's what we're doing right here. Reduce the heat a little bit. Let that thicken up. tongs out so I can drop the spaghetti in the sauce to get ready to plate. This is going to be good. don't want to break up the egg, so you have to be gentle as you stir to scoop the eggs up into the spoon so that they don't break. They're very tiny to begin with. All right. I'll have the recipe for this dish on my channel, and I will also have it on my blog over at richardblaineseasycooking.com. So it's a very simple dish. If you like seafood pasta, uh, if you like seafood pasta of any kind, then this dish is right up your alley. Oh yeah, smells good. Who doesn't love cream sauce? little bit more. Just another minute or so. Get this sauce nice and thick. Now, one of the other ingredients that you add to this is mayonnaise. A particular kind of mayonnaise called Kewpie mayo. I didn't have Kewpie mayo, so I'm just going to add a little bit of regular American mayo it's tasty. It's tasty. Yes, you probably hear my bird in the background squawking. But I can't have him up front here when I'm filming. Kewpie mayo is a little different than American mayo. Instead of being made with white vinegar, the way we make vinegar here in Japan, they make it with rice vinegar and a little more sugar. There we go. That's the thickness and consistency I'm looking for right there. Okay. That'll stick to the pasta. So I'm going to open my pot. And I'm going to grab some pasta. I'm going to grab some pasta. And into the sauce it goes. There's enough here for two servings. And that's okay because... This is my dinner.
and I'll eat two servings of this. Easy. There we go. Get that sauce in there. Nice and covered. It almost looks like fettuccine Alfredo. There we go. All right. I'm going to plate this, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, there it is. Tarako Japanese spaghetti with a furikake topping. Nori in a chiffonade. Toasted sesame seeds, black pepper, white pepper, a little sugar, a little salt, a buttercream sauce with fish eggs, a Japanese favorite, healthy, nutritious, economical. I hope you try this recipe. I know you'll enjoy it. I want to thank Jay over at The Aimless Cook for letting me do it. Don't forget to check out Mr. Easy Cooking's channel. Don't forget to check out The Aimless Cook channel and my blog, RichardBlaine'sEasyCooking.com. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care.